Hello everyone and welcome to another build that I've prepared, another potential build. Today we are talking about $700, which I think is a good starting point for, for really a gaming PC. Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, this PC, I'm actually really happy about it. I think it's a good value overall. So let's, let's get started. So, first of all, we are here back again with AM4 platform. This trusted platform is a super good value, still it is. It was at a $500 bill, it's at $700 build. It's still a good value, you can't really beat it. Later, we'll take some, uh, we'll take a look at some used options, even from the Intel side, but I think you can't beat it. You can't beat AM4. Like, you can, yeah, we'll see, we'll see later. I have 1200 for 1200 here, 12 gen, but it's not, it's not good enough. It's not good enough piece against 5600. 5600 against 5500 has a better cache, has, a, has more cache, which is gonna be useful. For everything, it's just gonna speed up the processor. It's a six core, 12 thread CPU. It's very solid, it's trusted, and you can overclock it. That's why I've chosen the B450 motherboard yet again. Another one. I think this one is from MSI, yeah. It's my, my Creative Ace board. It's super, super simple. There's nothing special about it. Yeah, RAM sticks, one NVMe, SSD slot, but that's, that's enough. You get plenty of SATA, plenty, I say plenty, uh, I see four, which is plenty <laughs> for additional storage. And it's it's bare bones, but it will do the trick. It's B450, they are really not hitting, not a lot of, you know, heat sinks on the power delivery part of the motherboard. There are not a lot of stages, so it's not good for extreme overclocking, but for, but for a basic overclocking, it will do it will do just fine. You can push the CPU for to uh, up to like four three four 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 without any issues. Should be able to, yeah. Even on on just a cooler, it should be absolutely fine. And obviously, the P uh, the CPU has a stock cooler. Included, which means you can save money on the cooler. It is few bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Today I went with 32 gigs of DDR4 memory to power uh, to power the CPU and the AM4 platform. I went with the 32 gig version instead of the 16 gigs, just cause if you do some video editing and or or even art or other creative options where you need a lot of memory. If it's a memory intensive task, you might wanna pack it up with 32 gigs instead of 16. Like today the memory is so cheap uh, that the price difference for 16 and 32 gigs of memory isn't huge. Like 42, 40, $48, for 32 gig of 32 gigs of memory. When it's 3200 and CL 16, come on, that's a, that's a good value. <laughs> so that's why I went with 32 gigs. But if you, if you want to cheap out, you can definitely get away with 16 gigs. If it's only for gaming, go for it, cheap out and get 16 gigs. You're going to be fine. Usually then I went with the one terabyte Samsung 970 Evo on it with a better brand drive these days <laughs> it's a samsung 970 evo plus it's pcie times three which is fine i think the board is pcie times three anyway it's gonna be a little bit slower than pcie 4 but uh yeah otherwise it's a solid drive it's a super solid drive it's one terabyte it's enough for anything for an os and couple Couple games and even only just expand later, which is, yeah, <laughs> which is great. Then I actually picked two GPUs. One of them 
pushes the overall price, which is kind of like $1,035 of this PC part picker of this entire list. But if you if you delete one of those GPUs, it's gonna be under seven hundred dollars actually if you delete the thirty sixty Ti. And if you delete the RX seven uh, sixty seven hundred, it's gonna be slightly over seven hundred dollars. It's gonna be like seven fifty. But I think it's worth getting the thirty sixty Ti if you actually care about Nvidia. DLSS stuff and ray tracing. The 3060 Ti is super solid. 6700 is gonna probably match it in the raw performance if you exclude ray tracing and stuff. But if you if you wanna get your games ray traced, 3060 Ti is super solid as well. They're both solid choices. Today we got no Intel. Was Intel at this bracket? It's kinda Yeah. It'll be too slow. <laughs> These cards outmatch it. Then I, then I went with a super solid case. Just some mid tower case. My new gear. I just liked it. But you can you can go with whichever case you want, really. There's nothing special about this. It's why it has a glass side panel. <laughs> I just liked it. And that's all that matters. And then, to complete the build, there's EVGA 700 beer, 700 volt 80 plus bronze power supply, which is solid, which is, again, there's no ketchup and mustard. Everything is sleeved. It's not a module power supply, but it's yeah, it's what you can expect in this power bracket, in this price bracket. Excuse me, it's 700 watts. It will power anything you can throw into this into this build, and even you can upgrade GPU later if you feel like it. It's gonna handle 30, 80, 40, 40, 70 with no problems. And yeah, that's about it. But let's look at some used options you can replace some parts with from this parts list. To probably, maybe, potentially, get a better deal, get a better price to performance, as we would say. So, first of all, we got some GPUs. You can pick up 3070 for under 300 bucks, which is amazing. It's a tier up from 3060 Ti. It's, it's an upgrade, it's a solid choice. Look, 275, 3070. From MSI? Heck yeah. But beware, before you buy used GPU, contact the seller, do some do some checks if it wasn't mined on it, or maybe mined on it for a very long time, or something like that. Use your own judgment to see if the card is worth actually buying on the used market. There might be there might be some traps. Ideally, if you can, if you can around some benchmarks, if it's if it's not like thermal throttling from the get go, or something like that, you know, if the if the numbers checks out, then go for it and buy a used GPU. It's it's a solid choice where you can save a lot of money. Yeah, for two hundred seventy dollars, this is all tech one gigabyte. They're basic cards, but it's all you need. <laughs> At this price bracket, and you can like 3070 is gonna be better than 3060 Ti. Hands down, it's a tier up. It's gonna be like 10 percent better, and it's and it's even cheaper on the US market. So why not? And then we got 6700 XT as another option from AMD. That's gonna be mm, on par with the 3070, I would say. But again. In the ray tracing performance, it's gonna lack like it. And you can see you can get one for, for 250. It's been sold. <laughs> Which is a solid price to pay for for a decent GPU. Like this is gonna this is gonna power, this is gonna play anything you want on Ultra on 1080p and 
very high settings on 1440 without any issues. So why not? But then we got some alternatives to the 5600. I picked up a 5700, which is a tier up. It's an eight core processor, so you get two more, two more cores and four extra threads. It's the same family. So AM4, you don't need to change motherboard or anything from the build. And it's about the same price. This is actually 5700G, but maybe there is 5700, yeah, 119, 142, 5700X. Just beware, if you buy 5700, that it comes with, with the rate state rate stealth cooler, or you might want to pick a CPU cooler to part with that as well, if it doesn't. But it's gonna cost you around 20 30 dollars more for the CPU cooler. And then I just wanted to highlight that you can go AMD 12 gen. I wouldn't recommend anything below 12 gen because it was just, you know, rebadging the, uh, re the 9, uh, 8, 7 gen for fifth time. <laughs> up till 11 gen it was the same uh, manufacturing node and everything it was just a rehash a reflash a relaunch of the same old gpus uh, cpus excuse me and you can go with the 12400 but you would have to buy a different motherboard and a more expensive ram because well actually actually no depends on the motherboard because these support DDR4 and DDR5. So we'd have to pick a motherboard that probably supports DDR4 to, to save some money. But it's 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 an option. 12400, it's an option. It's a six core. It's a six core processor. Yeah. It's it's an option. I would personally go with 5700. But do you go you? <laughs> So, overall, I would say this is a great, great starting point for a future build, for a potential gaming PC. And I would totally recommend it, actually. I think this is a great starting point, this is a great starting bracket, good price. We're almost matching PS5. Almost. <laughs> In the price. <laughs> And you'll have a better experience because it's a it's a computer and not not just a PlayStation. <laughs> oh, I've upset everyone playing on PlayStation now. Sorry. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more, give give a like and subscribe. Hope I helped someone. Maybe with a choice potential, potentially uh, potential choice. I'll see you some other time. See ya!